What's up, guys? It's Sean Mayo here, and I'm really quite excited to share with you uh, a brand new site that we've been able to add in, uh, Craigslist. We actually had a lot of requests over time for this, never got around to it. So uh, I just want to show you a few tips, a few things that um, we've been working out over the last couple weeks to uh, be able to narrow things down. Of course, it's a title matching site. You know, nobody's uploading UPCs, or if they do, it's very, very uh, rare, maybe on some textbooks or something like that. So, um, you know, but we found some tips. If you narrow your products down when you start, uh, you're going to get a lot better results. And it's all free. Uh, you know, we're giving it to the community. We'll give it to Alex if he wants to add it into the site. Um, we're not charging at all. You know, if you want to get it, go download it uh, from Gumroad. Um, no codes, no nothing. Just uh, go get it and use it. So um, I'm going to show you a few things we've learned. Uh, we've included the directions. If you never installed an XPath site yet, um, it'll make it very easy and simple. Um, so we've added it. It's in our pull down now, right here, Craigslist. Um, and I'm going to show you um, how we get to the results. So you can go over to Craigslist, go to your local Craigslist, get um, do whatever search you want to do. So what I did was I went to uh, I'm in the Tampa Bay area. I'm looking at all of Tampa Bay, and we're looking at for sale, of course. Um, not really going to find products in any of the other searches, uh, and we're looking at all. So uh, the way I did that was I went to, uh, we just went to Craigslist and it automatically goes to your local area. Uh, and I, instead of clicking on one of these, I click on for sale. Uh, so it's gonna go to the main for sale page. It's gonna show you everything for sale, um, but I'm going to narrow this down a little bit. So I'm gonna look at titles only. I only wanna see things that have an image uh, and I'm also going to bundle duplicates so that will show less results. As you can see, it's only going to show 2,500 up here. Uh, so if I if you bundle the duplicates, everybody who made the exact same posting multiple times, it's only going to come up in one display. So we're going to be able to see uh, more stuff. Um, as well as I'm going to enter in here $2. So I want everything with a minimum of $2. And the reason is a lot of people, instead of putting a price on things, they will just enter a dollar for the price. So that, like this, I mean, there's an advertisement to buy houses, but see, they put a dollar in there. So what, what happens here is then we don't get prices uh, because we don't know what the price is. They want you to call or look at the description and tactical arbitrage isn't going to be able to pull that data. Um, so then I'm going to click on update search. Uh, so now if we want to look for anything specific like books or um, whatever it is you want to look at, uh, you can also narrow that down now so we can remove things that we don't want to look at. Uh, so, you know, we probably want to look at tools and collectibles and baby stuff and all that, um, but probably not boats, you know, and not motorcycles and you know, not recreational vehicles and ATVs and things that we're not going to sell on tactical arbitrage. Um, you know, anything that you don't think, you know, even if there's a chance, like, you know, if you want to sell motorcycle parts, well, maybe you should select motorcycles because then you're going to get all the parts. Same with bicycles. If you want to sell all those parts that people sell, and we've done that quite a bit, uh, I'm going to keep bicycles up there because people might put bicycle parts on your bicycles. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and update that. And then uh, what I do to find the best results in tactical arbitrage is I'm going to look at uh, this stuff. So if we look at the top one, condition, we can now select new. So it's only going to show when people uh, enter, when they list the product, the products that were marked as new. And as you can see, we've been narrowing this down and narrowing it down, but we still have 2,500 results, 1 through 120 of 2,500. So I'm going to click on Update Search, and it's going to put all that up here in the search string. And then we can copy this over to Tactical Arbitrage, run it in 
the category. And what we're going to do here, uh, start page is going to be one, of course. If you want to search all 2,500 of those items in any category, you can enter uh, 209 pages. Uh, 208 or 2,500 divided by uh, the 120 per page is going to get you 208 plus a few more. So if you hit 209, that's if you load every page, you're going to get 209 pages. Uh, and then down here, you're going to enter your filters like you normally would. Now, at the very minimum, uh, what I would do and what we've been doing is entering an ROI. So whatever ROI you want to go with, um, I would, at the minimum, enter an ROI. Um, I haven't been entering, I haven't been doing a rank because, you know, I'm probably only going to get one product sourcing on Craigslist. So, um, you know, I'm not really that worried about the rank. You know, if it's a good product, I can make, you know, a great ROI at, then, you know, even if it's ranked a million or a few million in books or, you know, a million in toys, if it's one item, then, you know, it's definitely worth uh, um, worth getting if I'm going to get a great return. Um, you know, and a lot of these other ones really don't apply to sourcing on Craigslist, but uh, any other filters you normally use, uh, there's no reason why you couldn't use them. Uh, and then we're just going to go ahead and run our search. So uh, I'm going to uh, just hit submit here. Oops. So we want to start at 1, go to 208, hit submit, and we're going to let it start going. Now, uh, I've already done some searching, so I'm going to uh, show you some of the things we got. Um, I haven't really moved, removed anything from this area. You know, there, there are a lot of mismatches. I got some good ones in the beginning, uh, so I'm just going to show you where those uh, started up at. So uh, here was our first listing. Um, we can see these books, um, or this is actually a DVD. This DVD does match um, negative 97% ROI. I didn't enter the ROIs uh, in here to begin with, uh, you know, so I left these here just so we can see, you know, some of the things that have come up. Now, uh, you know, it is title matching. You're going to find a lot of bad matches, uh, you know, a lot of things that, you know, kind of could be close, but, you know, this is a stack of books and there's a single book. You're not going to find these kind of results anywhere else. So um, I just left these couple up here to show you the kind of things. Now, I thought this was great, it, that it was able to match this. Uh, to this. So I don't know if Alex has put in some kind of uh, image matching uh, technologies he was working on yet, but I mean, the, the matches that it's finding from Craigslist are, are amazing. So these, with a little bit more research, may be um, a, a good match. Um, I mean, it is a negative uh, ROI, but the image matching uh, I thought was just great because, you know, it's selling for 948, buy it for, uh, for 20. Obviously, that won't work. Uh, this one, this Netgear one, I believe it is the same model. Um, you know, that was a great match. The Mario Amiibos it was able to find. Um, this Craftsman um, garage door opener uh, was definitely a match with a 90% ROI. Um, this air conditioner, um, probably not a match. It isn't. This one's a 12,000. This is only a 6,000. Um, you know, and lots of things that, that aren't going to match. I haven't gone through most of these. Um, you know, but we can see it's finding the right kind of products. It's finding uh, close matches, which is great. Then that's going to be able to migrate into finding uh, lots of great results, especially when you start narrowing it down to books. Uh, so that's about it. Any questions, um, let me know and uh, go check it out. The link will be in the description or around this video somewhere. Thanks a lot.